So, this is the fly mouse, or the Biocopter 6, depending on whatever you want to call it, but I'd call it the fly mouse. And if you look on YouTube, there's no other video on how to solve it. So I'm going to be showing you how to solve it. But before we solve it, I'm going to show you how to turn it just a little bit. You probably already know this if you're looking for a tutorial, but I'll just show you anyway. So look, the moves you can make. So, the moves you can make are, the first one is you can either be to the side or along this axis right here. And once you get there, anywhere where there's this little line thing, you can turn it. So you can turn it, and then you've got this thing. It's basically a 2x2, two two actually, because it turns the same way as a 2x2, two two, okay? Got that? Okay, so I'm going to start to show you how to solve it. So let's have this scramble. It can so be solved two ways. One is solving it like a 2x2, two two, and one is the method that I accidentally learned. So, because I couldn't learn it from anyone else, so I invented my own method, and it worked. See what you got here? There's only two colors, but there's yellow, but that's the inside. So, you're going to want to get all of these big pieces into a kind of lotus. I call it the lotus pattern. So, something like... Uh, yeah, this is the lotus pattern right here. So, try to arrange the pieces. So... They all get into a lotus pattern. This is kind of like solving the white side on a Rubik's Cube. There's not really a way to get it, but you can get them onto the white side or lotus side. Like, you would get all the pieces onto the side on a 2x2. Two two. So I'm just going to show you what I mean. So let's say you have like this. Wait, I'm going to put this here. So let's say you got this thing. And you want to get all of the white pieces onto the same side. It's the same thing with this, because it's, wait, it's four pieces, they want to get onto the same side, so you do it the same way, you just kind of turn it, you can use the same method to get the white side as you can to get all these pieces on the same side, but you don't have to worry about orientation, the best lotus, there's only two lotuses, but the best lotus is the one you have right now, two sides across from each other, which are one, which are one color, but they're different colors. And then here, it's uneven. Because it, like there's two different colors on one side. So that, this right here is the best pattern you can have. The bad one is where these would be switched. And they would all be uh, the colors across from each other. And that's bad, but in one case, it's good. So, since the sides are kind of like this... They're already solved, because these would be the top, like, white pieces. But these sides, you can't solve them. There's no side there. I basically like having this. But, now we got to solve the yellow side, but in this case, the bottom side. And, so, you're going to want to get two of the same color small pieces, center pieces, next to each other. If they're in a checkerboard pattern like this, then then you will have to fix that, and I will show you how to fix that right after I solve it this first time. Then I'll show you all the other possible things you could run into, okay? So for this, you're going to want one algorithm, and it's right inverted, and then like down, I think it's down inverted, right, down, right inverted, then down, two, right, down, inverted, no, 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 just down, right inverted, down, right, down, right inverted, down, up. And now, we have this thing. See, they're attached to each other, and it still has this pattern. And it's going to stay this pattern no matter what I do, except for a little bit, like one thing, which I'm going to show later. So, now I got this thing. Pick the side that does not have these two pointing up, because that's where we're eventually trying to get to. If you want, you could put these two to the left, but I would suggest putting these two to the left, because these are the ones that are not up. But you could do a different thing for these two up. But I'll show that in the next part. So, do that algorithm again. 
but this time this part's on the left. Oh yeah, for the previous one, have the um have the upper part in the top right corner. So down. So do this algorithm. When I showed before. See? Now I got this part. Now put this to the left because that's what you want to solve now. Do that again. See? Now I got this thing. And this is the full lotus because it has like the seed and it's like blossoming up here. Okay. So you're going to want to put these two like this. And then align these, so if you turn it like this, these would be matching. So that means I have to turn them, because the red one would be farther. So I turn it, now it's matching. Now I turn it along the bottom, and then I turn it along this axis, and you got it solved. Now, before I get into what to do for this thing, I'm going to show you one coincidence that you might run into that you want to keep. So you see how it's a checkerboard pattern right here, which is bad, but in this is this pattern, which is also bad, but you know, two negatives make a positive, so this is a very good. So you have this thing again that I showed you, and you want to have the this one in the top right corner, do that algorithm again. That's a little bit far. See? And I got this, and I got this. So, do it again. It's pretty much the same moves over and over again. Now, put it to the side. Do it one more time. Pretty much whatever's on the left is what you want to move. I mean, what you want to uh, arrange. So, you got this thing, and you got this thing. So, now... You got the full lotus, so you get to this position, like what I did before, but now turn it only halfway, so these two, like this line li lines up, splitting the two colors, and just turn the side, turn it back, and you solved it. Now to show you what this thing is. Okay, so you see I have this thing again, but on the bottom, it's not opposite. So you're going to want to solve this part. So before I get into what to do, if you have this situation, I'm going to show you one thing. So if you look on the bottom, uh, these are different, like I just said. But um, you can change the the um, from this being wrong to this being wrong and this being right. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So go down with the right, then uh, so, do, yeah, down with the right, and then turn it to the side, then go right, and then turn it again, then go right again, turn it again, go right inverted, down, right, down inverted, right inverted, and then down, right. By the way, I'm just saying, like, down for it, but it can go in either direction for the way I'm saying down, down right and then you got this checkerboard but this is correct so by the way for uh sorry for the leg that's like right there in the video but um just keep watching okay so this is one thing that you probably are gonna do are gonna run into at some point so you have like a checkerboard on the bottom so, you have this checkerboard thing, but the other thing's not the bad checkerboard thing. So, the way you're going to do that is you want to get the checkerboard on the bottom. And then solve it just like you would before. This one kind of takes longer to fix, but it's better than not fixing at all. You got this thing now. And now you are going to want to go here solve it, but I know you haven't solved it because you still have these two pieces here. So turn it halfway, turn it like that, and then turn it so you have these things here, okay? Got that? Now, okay, yeah, 
so now you turn it to halfway so it's like this but this you can turn that so turn it halfway and then go back now you got this weird pattern so now you are going to want to turn it halfway to the side again but then do that so it's like you see how it has like the red lined up and the green lined up do like that so then go back to this state so now you have these things in the middle so you want to turn along this axis until you got this thing turn it halfway so you got one sticking up on this side and then turn it back so now you just got this thing so now turn it halfway like this again so you don't have to turn it in the first place as I was just showing you that and turn back like this turn up and now you got these thing the good lotus and things are to the side of each other so you can just solve it from here Okay, see? So that is what you do when you have the checkerboard pattern. So now I'm going to tell you the different patterns that these bottom pieces can be in and where you want to do that one algorithm I showed you from. Okay, so the first one is this thing. I already showed you, but I'll tell you again. So you make sure these are lined up like this with those same colors. So you turn it and they're matching. And turn it like that. And turn it one more time. And you solved it. For this one, you can do... You should do, um, so put this thing to the left, and then do the algorithm again. And then you can do the algorithm I just showed you. And you're here, so you'll put, you're going to put this one to the side. So, then do the thing with that on the left. Oh, I dropped it. Got it back. So, do the algorithm. Now you got this thing, and you want to line it up with one of these colors, which it'll be lined up when it turns. So make sure that it's uneven on one of these sides. Make it in this pattern right now. Turn it up. Turn it to the side again. Then turn this middle piece so it turns like that. Turn like that. And match it. If you have this thing, then you're going to want to put the one that's facing left, because this one's facing right, so put the one facing left into that spot. Then do the algorithm again. The last uh, situation. So this is the random shuffle. That's what I like to call it, because it's randomly shuffling the position of the pieces. So when you are solving this, you want to put this tall one to your top right. So this can be either piece. It could either be facing up, or facing left, facing left. But if it's facing up, it's going to do one of the ones I previously showed you. So do the algorithm again. And it's going to get to one of the ones I previously showed you. See this thing? And then you do the uh, this thing. And then you can, okay, so actually this is another one of the ones that I haven't showed you yet. So, you put the pieces like this. See, so it's uneven like the one I showed you earlier. And now, just go to the sides. And you might want to like slow this down and watch exactly what I'm doing. But, look what I'm doing. Look what I have here. See, so I can turn it, turn it to the side. And turn it back. So that is how you solve a fly mouse. I hope you like the video. Share it to your friends so they can learn how to solve a fly mouse. But I hope that this was informative because there's no other video on this.